Hi, my name's Alan. We're the local landscape contractors nursery here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're demonstrating how to use PVC lock, an innovative glueless fitting used to repair irrigation systems. In this segment, I'll be demonstrating how to build in field a swing joint. The purpose of this demonstration is to demonstrate how to field fabricate a uh, 12 or 14 inch swing joint using one 20 inch piece of pipe, schedule 40 pipe, and five PVC lock fittings, which include two male adapters and three elbows. To get started, you need to measure off at two inches. Then we need to cut two two inch connection joints. One, second one, over here, two, set that out of the way. Next thing I need to do is ream the ends of these pi this piece of pipe, the connection joints, so they go smoothly into the fittings. do with this reaming tool. I ream both sides. Because of the tightness of this joint, it's good to do a good job on this. Make sure there's a nice bevel on this pipe. Do that on these two. Okay, just clean off the pieces of the pipe. That's two pieces. Now, the swing arm. Okay. Cut both of these off. Beveled both pieces. It may give us a little bit longer joint uh, that we could trim down. But for this demonstration, I think we're good to go. Uh, the next thing I want to do is fabricate the swing joint. I'm going to do that by first connecting one elbow and one mel adapter. You can see I turn that down and I can seat that piece of pipe right into both those fittings. At two inches, I know my joint is correct because of the depth of the seat in both fittings. The next piece of join is the arm, pushing this in there, it's just like that. And I can tell that uh, that is going to be a little bit long in comparison, so I'll trim that down. Really easy to do. Get a couple of inches off of that. There. Again, clean off the pipe. Next piece is to put my elbow on securely. The next piece is another elbow that I connect with my connection joint. And I'll use this piece that I cut off for my next joint. which I connect with my mill adapter and the elbow. There, that's secure. Next thing I need to do is remove the old swing joint. The next piece I do, I remove this the sprinkler so that uh, 
I'm ready to install the field fabricated swing joint. Use Teflon tape or some brand of threaded seal tape on the connection. Pull that out. Good to do on both ends, both the supply end and on the and that the rotor is going on to. Nice, nice pipe tape we got there. Anyway, that'll clean up real good. There, now the nice thing about this field fabricated swing joint is no different from the one that I removed. I can actually articulate and rotate that fitting on, its, on the pipe which I connected it with a connection joint. So that will twist right in, rotating on the joint right in, and then I would, of course, tighten that up a little bit. Like that, and tighten it up with the, put the head on the other side. Now, my function is the same articulates on this joint here and I can move it at the same time here. For a list of these PVC lock fittings in which we've today fabricated an infield swing joint for ball fields, one that is uh, capable of handling constant pressure, look at our website at hydrorain.com.